So I have a, a really cool story that I want to share with you guys. One of our students, um, her success story. So I'm going to have her come on in a minute and we are going to talk about her journey and on where she is now. I know some of you guys have seen her on social media. If you um, have an Instagram, she's really heavy on Instagram. I think she has a YouTube channel. I'm not 100% sure, but when she hops on here, she can tell you guys all about it. So without further ado, we're gonna bring on Miss Nakia so she can introduce herself and we can get started with her wonderful, wonderful story as, as far as where she started and where she is now. And it's really good because it gives you guys a chance to um, to see that it's possible. And I think that's really what we all need. Once you see that someone else has done it, then you're like, oh, okay, well, if they can do it, I can do it. So motivation, right? So let's bring on Miss Nakia. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much for agreeing to do the interview with me. I really appreciate it. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody? So I am Nakia Alexander. I am the owner of NA Signings. Um, and I am a notary public in the state of Indiana and one of Vanessa's students. And I told them they probably would have found you on um, Instagram. But I really see you a lot on Instagram. But do you have a um, YouTube too? I do. I thought so. I just yes. wasn't sure. Why don't you share your, share your handle so everyone can follow you? Yes, it's Nakia Alexander. So it's just my name, Nakia Alexander. Um, and it has like my logo. But that's really it. Well, story. I'm excited because I want I wanted to hear your story. Anyway, I've been watching you. A um, few of my students have gone on to do really great and amazing things. I'm like, okay, check y'all out. So <laughs> first, I want to start with before you were a notary and then how you found notary to notary and then like, you know, walk me through that journey, like what that looks like. Yes. Yeah, so I was an insurance agent before I became a notary and um, I started doing research uh, in September, October of 2020. And obviously you're looking on YouTube and finding those videos. So I found your video and I fell in love with you just because of your personality and all that you were bringing. So, you know, one thing led to another and I kept bouncing back and forth of what training I wanted to take, but um, it was something about you that I really loved. I loved your spirit, your bubbly attitude, and <laughs> you was just grabbing me. Plus, you know, I love the fact that, you know, we, you know, look alike. So I love to, that. you know, support, you know, and it was someone, you know, that started her journey um, just kind of like I was, you know, a mom working from living from paycheck to paycheck. And mm -hmm. that was really inspiring. So I followed you, followed everything, took all your training. Like when I log in, I have everything. So <laughs> I have the whole package. <laughs> Good. But then now that you have the whole package, when we get to your story, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, she did everything. So yeah. when did you get, um, when did you start with Notary to Notary? Like what month and year? Um, it was the, in October. So end of October, like maybe middle to end of October is when I took my training with Notary to Notary. Okay. Gotcha. So what is that like? Oh my gosh, September. I it's know, so almost a year. Yes. Yeah, that's crazy. I feel like time just flew. It has. But, okay. So you guys started in October, and then walk me through the beginning. So how did how did training go? Walk me through that. Yes. Yeah, so I took the training, and um, and you know you really don't know what to expect when you haven't done it before. So it was new to me, even though I had a banking background. I thought that I had everything down packed, but just going through the training, like understanding everything, and you know, trying to step out there is two completely different things. So once you get out there, um, it's almost like, I don't know, it, it depends on how you learn your learning style. So my learning style was I'm more of a hands on learner. So when I took the training, it was great information. And you're uh, you're constantly adding more and more stuff. Like I love that. Um, if I look at my training now, like it's so much more added. So that is a, a plus to have the training because you're always adding more and more. But when I took it, um, of course, I went back to it after doing my first signing because I wanted to actually see now, like, okay, I, I was able to understand it once I, you know, actually did it. But it, it was like looking at it now it was really good information. It was a lot of information, like so much information that you provided um, in that, you know, loan signing agent bundle. So when I took my first signing, I just jumped out there mm -hmm. and I didn't really know if I was like fully prepared, but I don't think you can ever fully prepare yourself until you really see what you what what it is out there. Even today, yeah. taking signings, there's always something here and there that I'm like, I have to think about it for a second and I may have to call and ask a question. So, you know, I always tell people that, you know, take take training for sure, because 
you know, it'll give you the tools that you need from someone that is out there in the field, from someone that's been out there in the field, and they can basically tell you the things that, you know, maybe they needed help with or, you know, things that they know that you need to be successful. So when I took the training, I stepped out there, I came back to my training, I looked at it again, and then everything clicked for me. And then I just went and I hit the ground running. You know, I was still part time then. I started my I took my first signing November 10th, I believe. And then like I did really well the first month in November. Were you scared when you did your first signing? Like how'd that go? How'd the I first was signing go? So nervous. Yes. I, I had a lot of anxiety built up because when I started printing all those page pages, I was just like, oh my God, like what am I supposed to do? So then I just started like going through my documents, tagging everything that needed to be signed. I call, I had a membership with the NNA. You know, I got out in training that, you know, a membership is good and they answered some of my questions. And then I just went out there. Looking back, I know the bars probably felt like, oh, she was, seemed kind of new because I did go back twice um, to their home and, you know, because I missed something. But it was a lesson learned for me. It was like one of those things like you never forget. Like if you, you know, and the biggest you thing is once you're going to do it again. Right. How far was the drive from like your house to their uh, house? 25 minutes. Yeah. That's a nice little drive. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not so how'd, you, you, how'd you know that you missed something? Did the title company tell you or you caught it? Uh, the title company called me. <laughs> okay. That, and that's okay. That's what I always say. It's okay as long as you fix it. That's, yeah. what, that's what I was going to say. Like the biggest thing was owning up to it and immediately telling them like, you know, I am so sorry. I'm going to take care of this for you. And I gave them a timeline of when it'll be taken care of, which was obviously um, that next morning I went straight out there to the borrower's home, got it taken care of. And then I sent, I like scanned it back and then I sent it back. I dropped it back to them as well. Mm -hmm. They started sending me a lot of business and they were, when they emailed me, they were like, thank you so much for handling this so quickly. So I think that a lot of people are afraid because they are they hear all the stories like if you mess up then they're gonna you're gonna get and that's black not true that's well, not true it's not true at all i mean you know if as long as you're owning up to those mistakes and you know letting them know like i apologize i'm ready to fix it and you're eager they will definitely give you the business yeah it's only like if you make a mistake and then you they can't reach you and you disappear right it's like well where'd right. you go you know right. you have to get somebody else to do it and pay that fee all over again exactly yeah so your first one went well. Yay. And how much did they pay you for the first one? Well, it was 110. So That's yes. Good. Yes. I was excited about that. So like I said, I hit the ground running um, December. I don't, I think I ended up making like $2,800 in the month of December. And I mean, I'm sorry, month of November. And it wasn't even a full month. Yeah. So I did really well. I made, I felt like I made all my money back in just that like two week time frame mm -hmm. that I had invested in training you know supplies and all that i feel like i had made all my money back in that and i like that you mentioned that really quick because some people they go out and they buy a million things and it's like you don't even need all that stuff right and so i was like in my training i'm like just get this this and this and i always tell you guys like, you can get it if you want to but you don't need it and i feel like right. people get into the notary business and they want to buy everything and then mm -hmm. you, did you get any like a lot of like you know emails or like marketing and people trying to sell you a bunch of stuff Yes. When you got your question, yes. yeah. And how did yes. you deal with that? How are you able to figure out what to get and what not to get? Um, so I really just kind of followed like things that you recommended, and you know, maybe I heard from other people that recommend it instead of like taking those phone calls um, because it, it can be overwhelming and you really don't know what. So I just kind of trusted, you know, people that have been in, in the field and like you said, like you know, ordering supplies and stuff from like all state you recommended that. So I kind of stuck with that. Um, and that's just what I did. But I have ordered like toner and stuff from those people that call you. But you know, that, <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think like I did too. The first time I they, I got a call, I think it was, it was either pens or toner that someone oh, yeah. was trying to sell me. And then just, I just, I, you think you do it the first time. He's like, okay, I don't want to buy your stuff. Leave me alone. And you, yep. I, you get a lot of those calls from the Google business page. Once they yep. know you're in business, it's like, oh, okay, well, let's call, let's sell our stuff and things like that. And that's when, when you get your website set up, you get people calling you for like SEO and like, you know, ads and things like that. And you just have to know like, okay, I don't need that. <laughs> Stop mm -hmm. calling yeah. me. And you have like one thing I noticed too, like with Yelp, we make a Yelp page. They try to like make you buy a bunch of stuff. And there's nothing mm -hmm. wrong with buying those things. It's just like a lot of people who get started that I've seen 
they're trying to make a transition from working paycheck to paycheck and they're trying to get right. into it without putting a lot of money out. So you have to be mm -hmm. mindful of what you're spending on. Some people, I come into the business and they're like, they come to me after they spent like two thousand dollars. Like, well, why would you do that? Right. <laughs> like, right. What did you buy? Yeah. You know? Okay, but keep going. I'm sorry. I'm listening. Yeah. So, and I, you know, I felt like I spent a lot of money. You know, the money was coming fast, and I, I was, I felt like I was spending it as fast, like because I'm like, I have to invest this in myself. I have to invest this. So, I'm just like spending all kind of money. But now, like looking back. The, I, there was a lot of wasteful spending. So I would say like, you know, if you do get those calls, you want to stop, think about it, like think through it, you know, do your research before you just start jumping in and buying, you know, a whole bunch of different stuff. Cause some things you just don't need. Exactly. That's true. Okay. So you went through November, you had a great month of November and then tell me about the rest of the months up until now. Well, yeah, up until now. Well, yeah. So like December um, was, uh, I, you know, I basically doubled my income. January was really good. I was working full time, but I was actually like doing a lot of signings as well. So, you know, I, my job started to notice like something was going on. <laughs> so I had to like take a step back in February. Um, yeah. So, I didn't do as much in February. I think I ended up making like four thousand dollars, which is still good. But it is good. You know, I was making six, seven, eight, you know, thousand, and February it just I cut it short. And then finally, I made the decision that I was going full time, and I went full time March fifteenth. Yes, I did, and um, I have not looked back. It has been one of the best decisions, and. You know, it's just been like one thing after another. I've learned so much about my starting a business and running a business, how many different things that you can like streams of income that you can make. Exactly. This is like being a business owner so, owner. so like I'm I'm so excited and pleased like uh, where I'm at today and like what the future is to hold because I know that I know the way I work and I put a lot into it. So I'm gonna, I get a lot back out of it. So it's been good to me. And I, I say it all the time, whatever you put into this business, you will get it back out of it. If you work really hard, you will see the results from that. If you're lazy and don't really work hard, you'll see that as well. So, you know, it's just really all about what, what you're, how dedicated you are to it. So tell me this, you said you, you quit your job in March? Yes, March. What people always ask me, how do they know when it's time to leave? What helped you figure out that it was time for you to transition? It wasn't really a hard decision for me. I would say um, that I had been burned out with working in the field that I was working in. I was in a call center and stuck chained to a desk. And I knew that I did not want to do that any longer, but I always felt like I was stuck because I wanted to make a certain amount of money in order, you know, to, to continue to live the lifestyle I was living. And when this came about and I was able to make good money and I was making it part time, you know, I started weighing my options. Like, what is the reason that I'm sitting here on someone else's miserable? Right. <laughs> okay. I can make my own money and I'm making money just going at part time. So imagine what i can do if i had the whole day and exactly. you know and able to to do signings and make the amount of money so i set myself a goal i tell myself every week i want to make i want to do 25 signings a week before i was doing like when i first went full time i was still like kicking in five to eight signings a day and you know doing like 110 115 a month but now i've like gotten a hold of that and like okay nikia like do 25 to 30 a week and you know 25 is really like my number so i just focus on that goal you know no matter what so how it adds up i i just say i'm going to do 25 a week i have a, a amount goal that i want to hit every week which will get me to my monthly goal gotcha and then so you left your job you went full time so what's what's the most you think you've ever made in a month doing loan closing um 9200 dollars that's good. See, you guys can do I, it. I really could have made a lot more, honestly. Yeah. I, I but then you don't want to run yourself in the ground. You got to yeah. find that balance. You got to find exactly. that balance. But I do have a goal this month. I told myself that I am going to hit 10K this month. So I will update you on that. Yes, let yes. me know. I'm super excited for you. Yes. And I like what the comments you made about having multiple streams. So, And that's one thing. Outside, like when you go into notary, you can do general notary work, which is like people in your local community, 
Long Closing, mm-hmm. and Ron, right? So are you doing all three? Just general notary work and loan closing. Mm-hmm. I actually have everything for Ron. One of the companies that I do, do some work from there are actually bringing it in Indiana. So I've gotten all of my digital steel. Ron and is coming. Ron I'm, is coming. Yeah, I'm ready for that. And, you know, I'm looking forward to adding that as well. But right now I'm doing general notary work and then loan closing. And, you know, I like, I always follow you on social media because I just love all of you. I'm like, look at her. She look at her doing her thing. And so you went on, and you're not the only one, but you went on and tell everybody else about, like, you have, like, brunches and meetings and you have, like, a class coming up. So tell them how you went. And this is, I love your story because you started off, like, not knowing anything about notary. You jumped right. in. You, like, said, all right, I want all the training. You just started applying yourself. And things. okay, I'm making this money, but what's next? What's next? And you right. just keep going. You keep going. So tell everybody yeah. what you've done. Because I'm like yeah. super excited for you. Yes. In less than a year. I have to say you are my idol, though, because um, you like you are killing it. And <laughs> like I I love it. So I started, you know, doing loan closings and I was so excited about it. And whenever I'm passionate about something, I have to tell everybody. Mm-hmm. So I'm like telling people like my friends, my family, people that I worked with, mm-hmm. I, I have people that already left their job full time that worked with me because they seen what I was doing and they love it. And so I was like mentoring all of these people that was close to me, like family, friends, you know, coworkers um, into into getting into this business. And I thought like, I kind of have a gift at doing this. Like I can start like training. And so what I did is I um, did a notary brunch and training. I did it here in Indiana uh, for notaries that was in my area. And then some, one of my notary sisters was like, you should add a virtual ticket. So I added a virtual ticket. I was a little nervous about it. But what I did is I talked about like the five most important do- documents in the loan closing. I provided food. Uh, we net like did some networking and, you know, I gave away a printer. And so did you ever win a printer for me? I did not. No, I, I'm really bad at like, you know, <laughs> answering stuff when I need to. But no, I never won, won a printer. But. I'd already had one, but I, I, I wanted to give back. So, yeah. you know, I thought like this would be a really good thing. And um, it was, I got a lot of good feedback from it and it so looked, that, yeah, I have to send that to you. I really like yeah, it. Yeah, you know, really I good. like that. Cause it makes, it's like everybody can see it. It's like the suspense and it's like, oh my gosh, what's happening right now. Right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I like it. Yep. So we did one for the in-person ticket and one for the virtual ticket. And we actually gave away my notary sister. She donated a printer for the virtual um, attendees. And then I got the printer for the So we were able to give away two printers. Yes, and I had a lot of good feedback. So I'm excited about that, but. I'm excited for you because I I love, I love, 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 like growth and like multiple Mm -hmm. streams. And so to go from not knowing notary to knowing notary, to jumping into loan closing, to adding general notary work to, okay, let's do a brunch. Cause you make money off the brunches too. Like, okay, now I saw you have a training coming up too. So then you're like, okay, let's do the training. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you've just continued to grow. It's one thing but you're making money in it multiple ways. Yes, right? absolutely. Absolutely. And it's really, like I said, again, it's really about what you put into it. Um, I'm excited about, you know, all of the, the accomplishments that I've made. I am proof that it can happen. Like you can definitely be successful. Just, you know, work hard at it, put a lot into it and you will get, your results will be amazing. You'll be surprising yourself because I'm surprising myself right now. I never so thought I could teach anyone anything. <laughs> I, mean, I just never thought it. And people was like listening to me. And I was like, wow. Like, I okay. So, and my cousin was watching me and then she said, you just went into a, like a, cause I'm typically shy. But she said that when I started like um, going over the loan documents and stuff, she was like, you, it was like, you turned into another person. You was like, so business minded. And you were just like, like you knew this, like you had been doing it forever. And I was like, I know, I feel like, you know, once you do, a, you know, once you get a few loan closings under your belt, you can pretty much, I feel like I can do a loan closing in my sleep. Exactly. <laughs> I said it all the time. I don't even think about it anymore. It's like, all right, yeah. what I have to do? Give me the papers. Let's go. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like come on. And go. Yeah. <laughs> and I think like, so when you, like when I first started, like how long does it take you now to do a closing versus when you started? When I first started, it would take me like 45 minutes to an hour. Now I can get through them in like 25 to 35 minutes. Depending on if it's one or two bars, I can get it done pretty quick. 
see. And yeah. everyone, so this is my next question. It's a little, it's a little uh, fiery, but you know, like on uh, you're on social media, so you know, what do you tell people who feel like what we're teaching is a scam? Like it's not possible. What would be your response to that? So, and that's funny you asked because I was in a group and someone actually made that comment. Like you people need to stop paying all this money for these trainings for these people. But in the same sense, they said, I bought a training. So I always tell people that you have to look at this as your business. And whenever you start a business, you want to invest in the business. Everybody needs some sort of training because of the simple fact is you, you have people that is out there in the field and they can tell you and teach you and coach you. If you don't have that, then you don't know. You're just kind of like learning things here and there. You don't really know, you know, the process. And, you know, I always say now, like, you know, when you if you hire someone to come in your house to do something, you want to make sure they have some sort of education behind them and know what they're doing. So, you know, the people who don't want to pay for it, you know, maybe it's just really depending on their learning styles because everybody learning styles is different. Some people need their hands held. Some people need to, you know, can, can get something and right away they understand it. Yeah. But I always recommend training. I took training because, like I said, this is a business for me. This is not a side job. This is not, you know, something I just want to make extra money. This is a business and I want to grow. I want to learn as much as I can in the business. So, yes, I'm putting into the, uh, the trainings and I'm not stopping here. Like I'm out here training, but I'm still taking other trainings. There's, Girl, master me too. <laughs> there's master classes for me. There's, you know, business credit. There's like so much, you know, other there things that I'm going to learn. Credit. So that's why I continue to invest in my, in my business, in my education. So that way I'll have, I'll be the whole package when, you know, whenever I need to, and my business will continue to grow just from me, you know, putting, investing in myself. Yeah. And I want to piggyback on that really quick about the courses. So can you learn, you know, things by yourself? Absolutely. Can you go on YouTube? Can you read books? Can you do that? Yes. But for me, where I'm at, I think where you're at as well, it's like, that's the long road. So me, I'll pay somebody who's mastered something really quick to teach me something. Like the guy that one of the, one of my uh, friends on social media, JT Automations, now used to be JT Hustles. He has an Instagram uh, it's called Instarax, right? And he's teaching you how to make like big bucks on Instagram. And I said, I'm, I just saw it a couple days ago. So I'm definitely going to buy your train. Can I go on YouTube? Can I take my time? Can I take the long way around? I absolutely can. Right. But if this man is making all this money and he's going to teach me how to do it, why not just listen to him and like shorten up my time? Like I'm trying to, you know, be a millionaire and be done in like a couple years. I'm not trying to act with a long process. Right, like if right. I can simplify it by just getting like a crash course or a quick course, you know, to teach me versus taking a longer time on myself, I would rather do that. And a lot of people don't want to do that. And right. I think that goes into people who have businesses not investing in themselves. And right. they feel like a lot. And I was telling one of, one of my other students who also has a YouTube and, you know, a class and things like that. And I was saying that. You know, most people, once they graduate high school and co and or college, they feel like learning is done and like, OK, whatever I know is what I know. And anything else is just extra and it's just too much. But it's like you never are done learning. You always right. are learning because you're always changing. You're always evolving. You're always adding. So you should right. always be investing in yourself. Right. right? Absolutely. OK, go ahead. I'm sorry. What did you say? No, I was just saying absolutely. I agree. Well, I always say um, if you could give one piece of advice to someone who's interested in becoming a notary, what would you say? And someone who's in the industry, but they're not seeing the results that they want. What would you tell them? Um, so someone that is interested, um, if you are a people's person and, you know, you want to run your own business, you want to put a lot of hard work in it, go for it. Do it because it is literally one of the best decisions that I've ever made. I'm so happy. And she's always traveling. Yes. <laughs> like me, I don't, you can't keep it there. You're always somewhere. The flexibility is amazing. Like, I, I'm just, I'm excited. Like, I can't even really, I, like, th this is literally the best decision. So do it because you will be a year from now. I'm almost at my year and I'm looking back at how much I've grown uh, within this year, what all I've learned, I I have met so many like, entrepreneurs who are who are doing amazing. You just get into a whole different 
like rim of people and you exactly. start like not even thinking about I hardly ever go on my personal social media unless I'm really like just going to post. <laughs> but I'm always into notary stuff. Like I'm always looking, I'm, I stay on my notary Instagram page because I want to continue to learn. I like to follow people that are doing well. So yes, are ready to do that next step in life and, you know, become an entrepreneur. Or even if you just want to do it as a side hustle, definitely get it because there's so many opportunities with becoming a notary public, not just loan signing, general notary work. There's a lot of opportunities out there. And for someone that is already in the business, I say this and I'll say this until I am blue in the face. <laughs> you have to focus on being a good notary. If you are a good notary, the work will come. No matter how many notaries is around, they will always call you if you are a good notary. My kind of company that I work with, I went out of town because you you know I be traveling and they're like yes, she oh, does. So we got to get someone else. She called me. She said, "Are you back?" I said, "Yes." Yeah. She said, "Good," because the last person missed a signature, and I was like, "I need Nakia." So, hey, they if you, if you continue to do good, they will definitely look for you when it's time for a closing in your area. Also, that if you're not seeing the results, just go back to the drawing board. I had a title company that I hadn't heard from. It was a title company in Illinois that sent me work in Indiana. I hadn't heard from them. A lot of times because maybe my fees are a little bit higher than others, so they have been going with those. I reached out to them. I was like, hey, I haven't heard from you guys. You know, what's going on? And they're like, we're sorry about that. We, oh yeah, we got you down. We're going to make sure we call you. Call you. The last three weeks, I've received like three or four closings from them every week. So I don't know. They may have forgot about me a little bit. Yeah, you got to re refresh them. I put them back. I put me back on their mind. So, you know, if you have those companies that are not just do the due diligence and reach out to them and just say, hey, just want to let you know I'm still available. I'm ready whenever you need me. So, you know. You and I like, I like what, you're, what you made when you said you had to reach back out and just make sure. And that's, it's marketing. And people sometimes they think, oh, let me get into notary. And they work it like an employee kind of thing. This is your business. Like, it's a, it's a business. You need to maintain it. You need to take care of the accounting. You need to do the marketing. You need to do your website. Like, you need to build your business and you need to handle your clients. So your title companies, your signing services, your general notary work, these are your clients. Right. Okay, so I send my title companies, you know, Christmas cards and how that, you know, and just just thinking about you Monday, you know, and I reach out right. to that open line of communication because this is a business. If I don't, then I'm operating like an employee and right. I'm waiting for someone else. No one's going to come in and market for you unless you go right. on Fiverr and pay somebody to do it for you. <laughs> okay, yeah. No one's coming in to do that. No one's coming in to update your client list. You right. have to do that. That's the number one thing that I'm seeing people who are in the business but not making money. It's like they're waiting. They're sitting back. They're like, well, I signed with everybody and I'm just sitting back. No yeah, one's I talking. Well, you, you need to be active. Like, you need to go out. You sign with the same company someone next door to you signed up with, but they're calling or they're emailing right. and they're constant community. You just did one thing and stopped. Right. And like, okay, well, that's it. That's not the way that works. Right. Okay, like think about the business that's in your area. They don't just do one. They don't open up their doors and stop. No, exactly. They go out and they market. They do so. And y'all got to like, come on. We we gonna talk about this stuff. I'm not just, I'm fussing at them. Like I preach. Okay, you're turning into the mom, of Vanessa. Now. I know. So people make me mad. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true because people like they'll say, "Well, it doesn't work." And I ask them what they've done, and it's like, or like I'll say, "Okay, well, what have you? You know, did you do your Google business page?" Well, no. Okay, well, I don't know what you want from me. Yeah, the Google business page, you get so much um, work from Google business. People are calling all the time on Google business. And it did not take me long to get up on the five star. Like, well, I have five star ratings. Um, mm -hmm. I'm on the first page when people search notary near me. Um, but what I did is when I finished, like when I left a, a general notary work client, I sent them a text and say, hey, like as soon as I leave, hey, please make sure you do a review. I would appreciate it. And people go on and they do the reviews and... You know, like before you know it, you're like on the first page. So I was getting a lot of calls and I had like a lot of signings where I don't know if you um, seen this or not, but I've been training my daughter to do this. Mm -hmm. She just turned 18, just graduated from high school. She's in school now, but she's I going wish I would have got it straight out of 18. Honey, yeah. I wish I would have started straight out of 18. Yeah. So I take her along with me um, with like general notary appointments and I'll let her do them. And I'm just like kind of teaching her. And, you know, everybody's like, like so excited to see someone so young, like, you know, doing this. And, you know, I'm she's 
mentoring right up under me. So like, definitely you can do it. So she's trying to build her little business and yeah, but you got to think about it. She's, she's 18. She's going out making a hundred dollars an hour. When I was 18, I was making like, <laughs> I'm trying to think what job I, I think I was making like $10 an hour, like maybe, you know, I don't want to tell my age, but when I first started out of high school, my, my, I was making minimum wage, which was four twenty five an hour. <laughs> uh -oh. Really? Yeah, like that's man. I always tell everybody, if you got an 18 year old, get a minute because yes. they, even if they're in college, they can do it whenever they want to. Right. That's the flexibility of it. And when you say you're not available, it doesn't hurt you. It's okay. Well, I put my strength base on. But yeah, I'm super, super excited for you. I'm super, Thank super excited. You. I'm excited to see where you go within the next year. Like, I know you're going to blow up. Thank you. I'm super excited. I'm super I excited. Well, thanks. I'll let you know how my first training programs go. <laughs> I'll keep you updated. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. If you ever need any help, let me know. I'm Thank here. You. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Nikia, for coming on and encouraging everybody and letting them know they can do it, too. Yes, and make sure you yes. follow her on social media. Yes. And <laughs> that's you in the book. Do that. You can do that when you want to and travel when you want to. That's the beauty of it. I see, that's why I'll be watching your page. Your page if you want to travel. I promise you. I'm like, I'm like, look at her. She gone again. Like, let me go somewhere. <laughs> I know. And my cousins, my cousin was like, come on, we're going to um, Puerto Rico in November. I was like, I'm tired of taking off. They were like, you are your own boss. I'm like, so what? I'm tired of taking days off. Like, this is it. I have to grind all the way to the end of the year now. <laughs> yes, I love it. But then that's, that's the beauty of it. Like, you can work as much as you want, and then you can stop and say, okay, like, right. say, I'm going to work a lot, and I'm going to take, like, two weeks off because I don't feel like it. Right. And it's, 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 it's not going to hurt you. Like, it's perfectly fine. That's why I love it. And you can you, you just go whenever you feel like it. Like, if it's snowing outside, I don't have to leave my house. I can say, mm, I'm not going to. And then I can do Ron. That was like my students. The other day, I was like, okay, when she really wants to get her Ron together, she said, okay, when it gets bad weather that's coming up i could just sit in the house and do remote online notaries all day i don't have to yep. leave my house yeah, yeah. so, so I'm really gonna have all that i'm gonna have that under my belt within the next month hopefully. oh you better because listen listen uh -huh. behind i said i don't want to be don't left, get left behind, behind. <laughs> don't get left behind it's a whole situation it's right situation. i'm excited i have a project that i'm working on that i can't tell anybody yet because it's big but it's gonna be coming out next year but it's it's really big in the um, e-notary ron space so i'm excited it's definitely i i think by the end of like next year if not next year at least like two years it's gonna be like the main way everyone gets things notarized yeah. it is it's, and i was telling somebody recently i said it's like grocery shopping like when they came out with Instacart and things like that, a lot of people use Instacart. I use Instacart. Mm -hmm. um, and so you have to adjust. Like the uh, grocery stores, like the grocery stores were actually losing money due to Instacart. You know why it was really cool? Because when you're in the grocery store, you you impulse shop. So you shop because you're seeing everything. And mm -hmm. then you're like picking up so much stuff. So they're actually losing money because you have to search for what you want. And so they had to integrate their um, their platforms to start suggesting items to you. So they're not losing. They had to adapt. If they didn't adapt, they would be like losing more money. Right, right. Same thing with notary. So like, yes, right now they're still like, you probably haven't even noticed a decrease really yet. But I honestly think that by the end of like two years, like it's going to be a lot more wrong. Like yeah. Ron's going to be, you know, and you're going to have to get into the wave. It's just going to have to be what it is. Yep. You're going to have to adjust. And COVID they can make taught that us all shift. something new. We had to change when COVID happened. So we just got to move with it. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yes, we both have Instagram. My Instagram is notary to notary. Your Instagram is? N-A signings. N-A as in name. Yay! Yep. Awesome sauce. All right, my dear. Well, thank you so much for tuning Well, for coming on, not tuning in, for coming on the show. <laughs> thank and, uh, you. Encouraging everybody. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, definitely stay connected. I'm super excited. So many like bugs out here. It's like, but yeah, you I just really want to know, like, I love your program. I'm always telling people, even with my own training program, I always tell them notary to notary is amazing. Make sure you, you know, tune into it because there is a lot of good information in those programs and Vanessa will take care of you. Aww.